Hi, my name is Megan and I'm here on behalf of my team representing LSE's International Development Department and the importance of our department's research on SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, and SDG 5, Gender Equality and Women's Empowerment. These SDGs are crucial priorities for the developing world, especially given the setbacks across various sectors due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Take Mira, for example, a frontline healthcare worker in a rural community in Nepal. Following the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, Mira began working longer hours and as her workload ballooned, her pay did not change. And her work at home with virtual school and the care of young and elderly family members increased. Mira falls into the 11% of households in Nepal, which faced catastrophic health spending, where a household's financial contributions to the health system exceed 40% of income remaining after subsistence needs have been met. Mira could be pushed into poverty. Mira was expected to prop up the healthcare system while also holding down the home front. Yet Mira and many of her colleagues received very little support for all this extra work. Unfortunately, Mira's story is not unique but situations like hers can be seen around the globe. Women received little support for all this extra work. An estimated 6 million women in the health workforce are grossly underpaid or not paid at all. The gender pay gap is higher in healthcare in comparison to other sectors, standing at 25%. Gender inequality is a major issue that affects many areas of life, including health. In many parts of the world, women and girls face significant barriers to accessing health care, including cultural barriers, economic limitations, and gender-based discrimination. This leads to significant disparities in health outcomes between men and women, which ultimately affects the well-being of entire communities. This is where the International Development Department's research comes in. By conducting research on gender health inequality, the International Development Department can help us better understand the root causes of this problem and identify effective strategies for addressing it. This research can help inform gender-specific policies that promote gender equality in healthcare, more targeted agendas for women's welfare, and improve health outcomes for women and girls worldwide. The International Development Department's research can help create a more sustainable future. By promoting gender equality in healthcare, we can help ensure that women and girls are able to fully participate in their communities and contribute to economic growth. This can lead to a more stable and prosperous society, which can ultimately benefit everyone. As the world is recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, it is evident that health and well-being is and will continue to be a pressing issue. The UN expects the health and economic impacts of COVID-19 to increase the financial burden of health services and lead to more catastrophic spending for the most vulnerable and poor. For this reason, achieving universal health coverage, Target 3.8, will lead to improve health conditions and decrease poverty. For example, Nyla Kabir's research on the gendered impact of COVID-19 on health, social, and economic outcomes highlights how women experienced larger declines in employment due to their higher representation in sectors hardest hit by lockdown orders. Her research also demonstrates how lockdowns have increased rates of domestic violence. Through the International Development Department's research, we can take a step towards achieving this important goal and creating a brighter future for everyone. In conclusion, achieving SDG 3 and 5 calls for a holistic and inclusive approach acknowledging that all aspects of development are interlinked. Our department is uniquely positioned to contribute to our understanding of the SDGs as we critically analyze the shortcomings of the goals and targets while uncovering what factors and conditions will accelerate achieving the SDGs. Progress for women is progress for all. It's time to invest in women's health and well-being.